Hello, scientists! Welcome back to the Draw Coronavirus tutorial. In part two, I will show you how to draw this single strand RNA. Okay, so first, let's grab your pen tool and trace along with the shape of your single strand RNA. give it a color okay and smoothen the corners a little bit as what we learned in the part one tutorial mm. uh, there's still a corner here Let me fix it real quick okay so this is a single strand RNA and then um, okay so that's our single strand RNA and the next step is to add on these single strand RNA binding proteins. Let's create one residual. Let's create one protein real quick. And put the outline and thinner. Then with a gradient fill that we'll add on it. Okay, that's one unit of the binding protein. So adding this unit one by one is simply not a very efficient way of working. So instead, I will use a tool called Blend Tool. This tool can allow me to very quickly duplicate the same object along a path. I will show you how to use it. So like these two objects, grab your Blend Tool, click on the object that you want to begin the blend with, and then click on the one that you are going to end with. And you'll see there's a line of the duplicates of the protein components. So the next step will be how do we put these duplicates along this single strand RNA. Okay, first that's uh, let me copy this over here. We can very easily do that by selecting the blend and the path and then go to object, blend, and then replace spine. You'll see that all the protein components are placed along the single strand RNA path. Um, there are some gaps between the components, so we will need to increase the number of the proteins. So go to Object, Blend, and then Blend Options. And then increase the number of the proteins. I'll do it by 100. Once we've done that, all the path is filled with the protein units. If you take a look at if you take a look at the example, you see it has a coil structure, and this was achieved by arranging certain protein units at the front, while pushing certain to the back. We can also do that adjustment in our strand. There's one final thing we can do. So if you look at the example, you will see it has a coil structure, and it was done by arran it was done by arranging certain protein units at the front while pushing certain ones to the back. We first need to go to Object, Blend, and um, Expand, Blend. Then we can have access to individual protein units. This will allow us to pull some of our protein units to the front. And so we need to do that individually. And I will fast forward this process.
After the adjustment, then you'll see it has a more three-dimensional interwined feeling. And now we're ready to put our single-strand RNA onto the protein components. That looks very nice. And uh, I'll group them, move it over here into the virus. Scale it down a little bit to fit it in. And there you have it, your coronavirus with its genetic material. This is a part two for drawing coronavirus and uh, I look forward to see you in a part three. Make sure you subscribe so you'll get a notification when the tutorial is out. I'll see you in the next tutorial.